Welcome to Code with Kurt. The channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about VLOOKUP function. And VLOOKUP is vertical lookup. And what you could do is look up data in a single column here, like ID here. And from there, you do a vertical lookup. So say you know 500, then I can go over and pull the data for Mark and 500. I will be showing three examples in this video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. So here are my first example. I got a small table here of ID, name, and cost. And here I got my lookup value here of 500. And from there I want to pull up the name and the cost of any ID we put in here. So I'm going to start with the V lookup. So I'm going to hit the equal sign. I'm going to do V lookup there and then I'm gonna do my search key which is right here I'm gonna click here I'm gonna hit comma I'm gonna do my range I'm gonna do my table up here is my range so I got that I'm gonna hit comma next is the index now I'm gonna show what column I'm gonna be wanting to pull the data from so it goes like this is one two three so I'm going to pull from index number two, which is the second column here. So I'm pulling name. So I'm going to go two, and then the last part is if you want to do an exact matchup or you want to do close, close enough. But this example we're going to do an exact matchup. So for here we're going to hit false. Quotation like that, and then we're going to hit enter. And there we got Mark. So we got 500 and we're pulling a Mark. Next, we're going to set up the V lookup for our cost. So I'm going to click down here. I'm going to do the same thing equal V lookup. I'm going to hit ID. I'm going to use the 500. Select my range again. There, my table, comma. Next, I'm going to do the third column here. So I'm going to hit three. And then we're going to do exact matchup, which we're going to do false here. And then we're going to hit enter. And now we got 500. So now if I go up here and I change this, say I want to go, I want to look at 501, hit enter. There I got Jim and 1000. And if I want to search up 502, I got time and 1500. So again, this is just one example using the V lookup to pull data again to our right. My next example, instead of we're going to use the false, we're going to use the true. Now how the true works is we're going to look up this score of 60 and it's going to come over here. It's going to look at this scale and it's got to be sorted here, the scale. So what's going to do is go zero, no, 60. Yes, that's going to be a D, but it'll go 60 and over is a D. So anything over 60 and over is a D until it gets to 70 and then it's a C until it gets to 80 it's a B until it gets 90 it's an A. So I'll show you how this works. So here we got our table their scores are this and now we're going to pull in the grade by using this key table right here. So I'm going to go over here again go with the B lookup hit equal B lookup. There I hit my parentheses Next, I'm going to check what we're going to look up. So I'm going to hit the score here. So I'm going to do that, B2, hit comma. Next, we're going to be doing our key table here. So I'm going to highlight this. This is what we're going to be using as our table here. I'm going to hit comma. And the next thing we're going to do is what column are we going to return? So we're going to do the grade here. So I'm going to do two. And then I'm going to do true here because we're not going to want exact. We're going to do add score or over. Close it with the parentheses. And now I'm going to go back to our range here because I don't want this as we copy it down row to row to row. I don't want F2 and G6 to change. So here we're going to hit the dollar sign in front of F and we're in front of 2. This is going to lock this in. So this is always going to be static. So if you ever want to 
know about this, you put the dollar sign before the column and the number, and it'll keep it static as we copy it down. So that's it. We're going to hit enter. Now we got the D there. This hit exact right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this down through the column here. So there we got our scores. So 70 was exact, 90 was not exact, but 75 was 70 over, so that's a C, and F was 0, F. So that's how to do the, the true part of this. So it's either on the number or over for the true. Our last example, we have this key table, which you're going to be using. So here is just a simple table of ID, name, and an image link here. And then we're going to go to our example three. Say we have this raw data we get out from somewhere, and the only thing we get from this raw, da raw data is the ID. And from there, we need to put the name and the image in this to use this for something that we're going to be using for a report or something like that. So, and we're always going to get these tables coming in, and, and we need to fix them up. So here we set up this key table to help us do it. So this is the key we need. We got the ID name. We need to pull the name and image. Here is our raw data with the name and image column that we have to populate. So we're going to start here again with the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to go here, hit equals, VLOOKUP, parentheses. I'm going to go, we're going to be searching our ID. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to hit comma. Now we're going to go to our key table over here. Key, I'm going to highlight this whole table here. There we go. So ID is our first column. Name is our second column. And image is our third column. So I'm going to hit comma. I'm going to go back over to our example three. So name is our second column from the key table. So I'm going to hit 2 there. And then we're going to go false because this is all going to be exact matchup. And hit our parentheses. And then we're going to hit, and we're going to go back over here. Last second. Again, we want our key table to be exact, static. We don't want it to move as we're copying down. So we're going to hit dollar sign in front of the a, dollar sign in front of the 2, dollar sign in front of C, and dollar sign in front of the 21. Again, for our table range here, we want this to be static as we go through. And again, I'm going to put one in front of A here because we're going to copy this to the right to do the image, and I want A2 to remain the same. So I'm going to do it just in front of the A because I want A to be exact and if we go down it's going to go a2 a3 and as we move over so i want that to be static as well so we're going to hit enter there we have our name i'm going to take this i'm going to copy all the way down to the bottom now we got all our names there so i'm going to shift this over to the left there now i'm going to take this i'm going to copy over here and here i got the name but I want to change this to the image. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click in here. I'm going to change this to three because we're going to, we got our range is the same, our look at value is the same, but we're going to go three columns over on our key. So I'm going to hit three, hit enter, and now we got our image here. And I'm going to copy that all the way down here. So now we got all our images set up for our table like that. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment or question below. Until next time.